Hello, hello everyone. Good morning. My name is Evgenia Ostrovska. Everyone calls me Eve and I'm responsible for signature brands in Europe. So we're very sorry about the live event. Uh, some technical difficulties appear, but I am uh, creating this video pretty much live for you. So I hope you will still enjoy coffee with Evgenia. Do you have your coffee ready? I have mine. What type of coffee do you like? I like cappuccino, but at home I always do black coffee with French press. And an advantage of this is it's a lot of coffee for my morning. Okay, but to, back to today's uh, topic, Connected Bank. Um, and before I actually uh, jump into the Genetex vision of Connected Bank, uh, let me uh, tell you a little bit about uh, general trends in the industry. Uh, back in November, we had a banking webinar on branch transformation with uh, RBR Loden uh, and uh, QCIC, and we were talking uh, in details about uh, branch transformation um, in the future. Uh, if you'd like the full recording, please uh, feel free to, uh, to uh, get it from the Genetech website. Uh, but I'll give you a short summary. And uh, the thing is that for the last five years, we heard a lot about branch transformation, but uh, the evolution was fairly slow. Right now, with pandemic and digitalization, we see that uh, it uh, really uh, accelerated the speed of the branch transformation. And practically now, uh, when we think about the banking branch, we think of three pillars, uh, which are problem solver, uh, digital ambassador, and trusted advisor. What does it actually mean? Problem solver is very simple. It's like, when do we have problems? We have problems with the card, ATM machine, or your bank account, you will go to the branch. Uh, digital ambassador. Normally, uh, banks are trying to um, speed up the evolution to digital banking and uh, educate uh, the customers how to use the mobile apps uh, through the web application. So pretty much to do most of the transaction uh, on uh, your own. And uh, trusted advisor is uh, the most important uh, function of bank of the future. Uh, when do we actually go to the branch? When we're uh, in the stressful situation of the one of the most important uh, solution in our life, such as um, find uh, the, the educational uh, loan or we're talking about mortgages or credit for business, something which you cannot just do with the click of a button. And in this case, uh, the, the branch becomes the customer oriented, uh, more customer friendly uh, entity rather than bureaucratical machine, which it was in the past. And um, based on that, uh, we can actually say that branch uh, is all about customer experience. Yeah? So we, to uh, improve customer experience, you normally need to measure customer experience. And this is how I will uh, a little bit uh, uh, jump into Genetech solutions because we created this understanding of connected bank when physical security is uh, connected uh, and goes beyond uh, the physical security challenges because we simply see the customers. We see the customers so we can understand what are the customer behavior within the, 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 um, the branch. And more than that, we can actually understand the customer satisfaction simply trying to analyze the data on the customer behavior. I will give you a simple example. So when we're talking about the problem solver, how could a Genetech products improve uh, the problem solver function? Why don't we uh, interconnect ATM transactions and a video? Because in this case, you can very easily through call center understand what happened with the card, what happened with the uh, ATM machine and so on. So this part, when you need visualization to understand what has happened, when you connect those systems, the speed of resolving customer so the, uh, customer issue uh, increased uh, significantly and therefore the customer experience improves. When we think about 
digital ambassador. Uh, normally, banking branch uh, now establishing these zones of uh, digital education. Uh, we uh, can uh, talk about iPads or computers which are standing there in the zone. But how do we measure? Does anyone uses those zones? Is it the best way to educate your customer? We don't know. It's uh, simply by uh, thinking that, okay, we put three iPads there, everyone is going to use it. Are they used or not? Not really um, possible to measure unless you're using, using video surveillance of understanding amount of movements. And all of it is anonymized. So it's not uh, intrusive into customer privacy. And this is another thing which is very important uh, to mention that by measuring customer experience, we cannot step into the customer privacy. And therefore, we're just looking at anonymized, anonymized information uh, to improve the quality of service. And uh, uh, trusted advisor, normally uh, we would think of uh, usage of the meeting rooms at the branch, uh, of using uh, this um, special tables uh, for the appointments and how often do they use, uh, how long customer stays again to understand the length of the visits uh, on average. So measure, 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 uh, and they have actionable data. Uh, so in this case, um, we can improve it uh, step by step. But uh, uh, to talk a little bit uh, on connected bank, let's step out of customer experience as it's actually the last point of the journey and talk about overall physical security solution. So when we talk about uh, platform, IoT platform for physical security, we plug in different subsystems. And we will be talking about video management, access control, fire alarm integrity, integration, uh, different sort of video analytics. Um, we uh, can think of integrating um, transaction, uh, transactions from the uh, ATM software and so on and so forth. So when we are plugging in all of these sensors and all of these uh, additional features, we also need to think of cybersecurity. So Genetech, uh, and I, I just want to mention it because it's really, really important basics, which we see is unfairly forgotten. Or um, normally I, when I talk to the customers, I might hear that this is an independent function in the organization. So for example, cybersecurity is something which IT is taking care of. Uh, in our view, all of it interconnected because simply every device which has standard password or um, not updated firmware is a potential threat and vulnerability for all overall cybersecurity. So uh, in a case of Genetech, this is one of the basics which goes uh, without uh, saying. And uh, what we did from the software perspective, I don't want to go into a lot of features, please feel free to ask us in more detail, but we actually integrated hardening guide within the software. So you would be notified that the firmware is out, not up to date, or the passwords are not changed and so on and so forth. So uh, another very basic functionality is camera integrity monitor. Please feel free to, um, look at our website. And uh, that simply tells you that cameras are monitoring what they're supposed to monitor. So when basics are there, we have video management either on-prem or in the cloud. When we have the centralized monitoring for Genetech, it doesn't really matter. It's just a matter of infrastructure. Why is it important for me to mention? Because today you might want to have your physical security on premise. Tomorrow you might want to move in the cloud. And for you, it means that you are choosing a future proof solution when you can add different systems beside video management and you can grow with the requirements because today uh, we want uh, to be uh, bigger, uh, like we have bigger branches, tomorrow the branch can shrink and the most important for the branch would be to be at the location with the higher footfall and so on and so on. So it's a changing world. We need to be uh, very flexible. And uh, for that, you need a platform which will allow you to grow with the requirements, to be able to go beyond uh, security and uh, add functionalities 
as you go. Thinking about basics, which is cybersecurity, which is the correct functioning of the system, and so on and so forth. So, uh, in overall, when we think about connected bank, we're thinking about choosing a platform which will allow you to cover physical security uh, needs and grow into the operational efficiency when, uh, when you are ready to add these functionalities. So that was a little bit about the branch. And what about uh, corporate buildings? Uh, with corporate buildings, we have uh, the same story. After pandemic, uh, office, um, it is like uh, we see that the world is really unlikely uh, to be the same and utilization of the office space uh, is affected at, at the greatest. So what can be done? Again, measure how many people are using the office, uh, how are meeting rooms are utilized, can you integrate meeting rooms uh, software within your security platform? Yes, you can. And actually, based on the access control on the uh, occupancy, you can have a different dashboard and analyze uh, the usage and utilization of the office. Because the next step will be, do you need such a big office? Do you want a smaller location? Do you want to rent out a part of the premises and so on? So with uh, connected uh, office buildings, we will be talking about video management, access control, license plate recognition for parking spaces. Um, we are talking about occupancy management. In this pandemic time, you want to have a proximity report, which is very easily done uh, using access control cards. You can notify all the people who could be in contact with the uh, potential uh, threat of the health, for example, and so on. So, if I want to summarize what I was talking about, from our perspective, connectivity is the key to, first of all, get more information, to decrease amount of information and provide the right information to different stakeholders. If it's a um, remote uh, centralized operator of the system, we want, we want to decrease the amount of information so he can cover more cameras, more buildings, and uh, um, uh, to make the work more efficient. If it's an operational efficiency, we want to provide a branch uh, experience, uh, customer experience expert the uh, information about waiting times, uh, usage of um, digital ambassador spaces, and so on. If it's an operational manager of the corporate buildings, we want to provide reports on utilization of the building and the proximity reporting, and so on and so forth. I would be uh, talking about it for hours. Uh, I hope I didn't squeeze too much information as this little time, but I hope I could get your interest and uh, please uh, uh, reach out to us, ask us questions on all of these functionalities. I will be very happy to answer. And also uh, just share with us what would be uh, the interest for the next topics. Uh, we are planning the next uh, uh, event in February. By that time, I am sure we're not going to have any problems uh, with uh, live events. And um, also, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I am sharing a lot of information about banking, retail, stadium, and uh, just uh, simply technology. So I hope you will excuse us for this uh, technical uh, glitch. Uh, you had your coffee meantime, and I hope to see you soon. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.